Welcome back, my wonderful people. So, right now I am in Nyabihu. It's one of the northern districts in uh, Rwanda, right between Musanze and uh, Ruvavu, if you know what I'm talking about. So, you might be asking, what am I doing here? Well, since everything is closed right now, you know, we are in these lockdown things, I've been trying these new gigs, you know, just doing some ordinary work just to, you know, to keep, to keep paying the bills. So, luckily, I got this gig where I was invited to come in basically take pictures and, and, and to take live video streams of a farmer's day where farmers are getting trained in how to uh, basically farm better potatoes or better yield in potatoes. Uh, so it was a nice day. I thought, let me just take you around and uh, show you how it looks like. I woke up pretty early at 5.30, you know, gotta get ready because it is like a two and a half hour ride. And then, of course, these Rwandans always come at the Rwandan, Rwandan time. Oh, these Rwandan times, yeah? But the road was nice. You could clearly see the difference between the districts that are in total lockdowns and the ones that are still open. got here in Nyabihu. It's a bit chilly, cold-ish, but it's actually the perfect weather for, for working out. Guys, once I got here, I felt like, yeah, I could run right here. So as you can see, I'm pretty, you know, I, I, I have a lot of clothes on today and the sun is shining, which makes it like nice right now. But when the sun is gone, it's quite windy. So Honorine, don't fall, please. Eh? Guys, I always love these kind of bridges. They're so scary, but I just like the adventure. I hope I don't fall. <laughs> so I was hired to basically live stream this training uh, of these uh, farmers who are doing this course. And it, and, and it, it is sponsored by some international uh, organizations and they wanted to see these things happening. Of course, because of COVID, we had to do it uh, uh, yeah, virtually. And this is the footage that I got from here. Everything was, uh, was well planned. I arrived here like in the, in the nip of time. The connection was not bad. And of course, I get to enjoy this wonderful scenery as part of my uh, job of today. So basically my work was just to film everyone while everyone was talking. I think with this, uh, there's a last question from the lead farmer. Yeah. Um, and, and take a good audio and video and, and of course some pictures of everyone. And people here were asking of course for some new pictures for their profile uh, for on their social medias like LinkedIn and Facebook. Always glad to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So the rotten parts like these ones, they are not good for, you can see, you can see these are the rotten. So we don't put them together with the others, we weigh them separate. Okay. Now, we are done with the, the sorting, next step is weighing, we are going to weigh. How many kg? For the biggest, the biggest tubers, we are having, we are having 40 kgs. So they are can dig. Niwa haru kunucha komeza chikajira no kwa hivi wandi wa gutse dufata ni jenda. So for this starting uh, project, they are asking if it can be enlarged or extended for the big number of farmers. All right, guys. So we just finished the work. It went uh, pretty well. Uh, I hope uh, the people who are live streaming also. We're happy. I think uh, I think it went all well. Uh, yeah. So so because of the, these guys, of course, uh, are potato farmers. I am going to buy some potatoes from them, and I will do a review <laughs> once I get home with how delicious their fries are. All right. 
Thank you guys for watching guys. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification. And uh, yes, don't forget to support me on Patreon. I love you guys. You're helping, you're helping me go through this whole pandemic. All right. Moramuche, see you in the next video. Bye bye. So guys, today I was together with Honorine, our communication and social media manager. Honorine, how was the day for you? Well, I had a pretty good day. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is an awesome experience. Uh -huh. Like, um, I've never been here. I've <laughs> never seen people planting uh, potatoes. Potatoes, yes. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. So uh, on a scale of one to ten, how delicious do you think those potatoes are? I think because they are fresh, they are straight from the, the land, uh -huh. I, I will scale them 10 to 10 maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, that's some high expectations. Yeah, I'm really going to, I'm going to make fries of them immediately once I get home. You better take the pictures. Ah, yes. Oh, them. that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. We take the before and after. Yeah. From, from farm to, to plate. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go home. Okay. So guys, it is generally tradition when you go to the rural parts of Rwanda to buy some fresh vegetables or, or uh, potatoes. In this case, we just bought some whole lot of uh, potatoes, uh, but I'm not, it's not all mine. I'm just going to be sharing some because I think I only need like, like 5 kg. And this is the little town of Nyabihu where we are at. Okay, before we go home, we have to take some lunch, of course. We are here at what is this place called? Hotel Chirerema. Uh, Hotel Chirerema. 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 So we are here at Hotel Chirerema 2. We're going to grab some uh, quick lunch before we head to the road. 